Hello everybody, it's Rebs here, and we're going to be playing The Witch's House. So since it's Halloween, I figured we'd go ahead and start with something spooky. And this is like one of the first Let's Plays I've ever done. So let's go ahead and start this, shall we? So let's click begin. Alright, so let's set our difficulty here. So I'm going to go with normal, because I did play this game a while back. I don't really remember most of it, but I know it was a really good game. Okay, start on this difficulty. Yes. Wow, looks really better than I remember. Okay, so if I remember correctly, this is about a girl who is lost in the woods and she comes across a mansion or a house. So that's all I pretty much remember about this game. And there's a lot of puzzles. The way is blocked by a patch of small roses. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, let's keep moving here. I think it's a key cap. You're up and at him, eh? Yes, I am. Okay, so, oops, house out of the forest. Let's try to get out of the forest. Let's see what that happens. All right, keep going down. What's over here? Play is blocked by a huge patch of roses. All right, let's go this way. Something found rusty and sharp. I will take it. Got a machete. Little girl in a machete. That's really cool, man. Okay, items are not used automatically. Stand in front of an object, then select the item from the menu to use it. Oh, huh, good to know. Okay, let's keep going up, shall we? Alright, so I'm guessing the witch's house is this way. Lays blocked by a small patch of roses. We can now cut that. So I'm gonna go to items, use the machete, and cut them up. Sounds really cool too. Like I love RPG horror games, so I'll be playing a lot of those on my channel. So it's really good that I'm starting with this one. Okay. It's really beautiful too. Oh, there's a kitty cat again. Huh? What's that? Hmm. The way out is blocked by roses, huh? Ooh. You gonna go in? Might as well if you can't leave. A very good point. Okay, I'm not gonna save all the way there. There we go. Alright, let's go in the spooky house. It actually looks quite nice from the outside. Alright. So... Nowhere to go but up. Okay. Oh! Oh no! Oh god, ew! Okay, I guess I died. Continue. Sorry about that. Just pretend that did not happen. Okay. Let's do this again. Maybe I'm not supposed to step on the patch of blood. Again, it's been a while since I played this. Like, let's say maybe a good five years, so... Let's just try this again. Come to my room. Ooh, spooky. Don't step on the blood. There we go. Hi, kitty cat. Yo. Decided to follow you around for laughs. Incidentally, where the heck did you come from? I came from the wall. You know, like everybody else does. Okay. Roses. Piece of roses. How nice. Makes this spooky house look charming. Clock. Time marches on. Indeed it does. Okay, this looks like a pleasant room. Opens when the house returns to normal. Is it not normal already? Okay. Teddy bear rests against the pile of presents. Hmm. Do I take the teddy bear? I'm gonna explore first and I'll come back. Witch's Diary. Ooh. Yes, let's read. I was so sick, so no one played with me. My father and mother did not love me. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. It's always bad when your parents don't love you. Alright. Ooh. This looks ominous. What does this lovely piece of paper say? Bears in the basket. Yes, there is a bear in the basket, but there's no bears. The basket has a big teddy bear in it. 
and there's a little bit of room left. Hmm, maybe I could take the teddy bear from earlier? Ugh. Hello. Okay, I'll just go ahead and take this guy. Teddy bear rests against the pile of presents. I will take the teddy bear. Got the teddy bear. Ugh. Of course it fell. That's kind of ominous, too. Hope nothing bad happens to me. Alright. Before I do anything, I'm gonna explore. I'm gonna save. Because you never know what would happen in this haunted house. I also love her outfit, too. Cute little girl. Okay. Let me try putting the teddy bear in. Put in the basket. Its limbs make it too big to fit. Well, that's unfortunate. Is there a way to maybe lessen the teddy bear? I know that sounds really dark, but possibly. Scissors? Chain scissors. Take it. I can't take it. Okay, this is really dark if it's suggesting this. Okay, let's just... Oh. <laughs> cut off teddy bear limbs or do nothing. Well, I kind of need to cut them off, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, you cut off the teddy bear's poor limbs. Oh, no. Oh, God, there's blood. How is there blood? Okay, let's, let's just keep moving. Dusty old dresser. There's nothing inside. Wonderful. Oh. Oh, I'm getting scared now. Save. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, jeez. No. Okay. H here you go. Put in the basket. Oh, it looks so good from this angle. Hello. Okay. Uh, I'm scared. I'm so scared. I'm not joking. This is like terrifying. Okay. Let's keep moving here. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Okay. Oh sh mm -mm. Okay. I did not want to scream because I did not want to overload the mic and blow everybody's ears out, but oh. That teddy bear did not look happy. Alright, so let's do this again. Okay, so I gotta run the opposite direction. Alright. Okay, so teddy bear torso. Let's put right there. Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I, okay. I think it's safe to go back. All right. Yes, I want to save. Okay. Whew. That was a fun adventure. All right. Let's go through this. Don't you do that. Please don't. Um. Yeah, sure. Okay. I'll take them. Why not? You never know when you can use some bloody teddy bear limbs. What does this say? Oh, I can move the chair. Check for poison. Uh, how about no? That's kind of what I don't want to do. Okay, what does this say? The cook is busy. Lend a hand. Get it? Okay. Alright, let's keep moving along here. What's this? Strangely colored soup in a skull-shaped bowl. Hmm. You know, it could just be, you know, the the host's, like, decoration of skulls. Maybe they're into skulls being in decorations, or maybe it could be poison. Hmm. I'm gonna say it's poison, but I'm just gonna let it sit there for a little bit. Spacious fireplace. Look inside. Nothing but soot. Oh, great. Probably dirtied my pretty little dress. Alright. 
Hello, cockroach. There's a ghost. A book titled... Let's see what it says. People of ruling and wealthy classes have long enjoyed dining with silverware. Such with using such hard to clean cutterly cutter glub sorry cutly provided they were they were wealthy enough to hire servants. In addition, silver utensils change color upon contact with poison. Ooh, making them quite useful. So that's a way we can tell it's poisoned. In case you didn't already know. Same bugs swarm around the rusty floor. Hello. Let's talk to him. Ah, I'm so, so busy. Should we lend a hand? You know, before I do that, I am just going to um, save. Just in case this ends badly for me. Where does this go? Ooh, nice. Jeez, you freaked me out. Don't come out of nowhere like that. Sorry, man. All right. I spooked the cat. That's pretty cool. All right. Kakaroch. Kakaroch. I'm gonna squish you. Come here. Okay. Well, I'll do it later. Hello. Talk. Ah, uh, I'm so so busy. Let's lend a hand. Let's see what happens. Oh, thank you. Visible person grabs your arm. Ooh. Oh no. They push your wrist on the cutting board. Oh. <laughs> a hand is exactly what I needed. And of course we die of blood loss. Okay. I'm gonna start keeping count of how many deaths I've gone through. It could be a fun, you know, game. Okay, so I'm guessing we give him the teddy bear limbs. Because that's the only other form of hand I can give him. So I'm going to try that. Hand over bear limbs. Oh, thank you. I was in need of a hand or two. Let me show my appreciation. Ooh, got a silver key. Thanks, man. All right. Let's go over here. Excuse me, chair. Okay, they said that you can tell that it's poison if you drop a key in it. So let's try that. Um, let's see. Put key in soup. Do nothing. Hit bowl with key. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh. The key turned black in the soup. Ooh, something unlocked. Nice. Oh, did you guys see that? Look like I sh No, uh, whatever. I thought it looked like- Okay, I'm just gonna stop talking and move on. Okay. Actually, before I do, I'm gonna go save. We only got a few more minutes, but I'm just gonna go save here. Hey, kitty cat. I'll call you Mr. Midnight, because why not? I love cats. Alright, let's go through this door. Ooh, stairs. Oh. It's another little girl. Let's see what's in this room. Oh, God. This does not look pleasant. Okay. Golden butterfly is caught in the web. I'm not going to take it just yet. Okay. Piece of rope in the barrel. I will take it. Get some rope. Barrel, nothing inside. Let's see. Is there anything else in this room I could use? Oh, that's good to know. I'm also terrified of spiders, by the way. So... Ugh, any game involving spiders, I just get chills down, down my spine. Dusty bookshelf full of cobwebs. Nothing of note here. Good to know. So I am going to come back to this room. Because I have a feeling if I take that butterfly, something terrible is going to happen to me. Okay, let's just keep moving here. Hi, kitty cat. Decorative cat ornament. Gotcha. Ah, very funny. Okay, let's keep... You stare right there, man. Okay, what's in here? Ooh, some books. Must be a study of a library. Book titled The Witch's House 2. Is there a certain order I should read it in? Oh, there we go. Okay. 
Keys do not open doors in the witch's house. Something else must serve as the key. Okay, good to know. The witch's magic can make the house change form. Also good to know. Book titled A Funny Story. Ooh, I love me a funny story. Let's read this. Once upon a time, there was a rich man pulling along a cart of treasure. His cart broke down in the woods, but then a hunter and his dog came along. The rich man pleaded to the hunter to keep a close eye on his cart, to which the hunter agreed. The rich man went to get a new cart. Meanwhile, the hunter kept watch. Night soon fell, and the hunter grew worried for his elderly mother still at home. So the hunter told his dog to watch the cart and went home to check on his mother. When the rich man returned, he saw a dog guarding the cart. So he gave the dog a reward for his master, a silver coin to carry in his mouth. The dog ran all the way home and bought his master the coin. But the hunter flew into a rage. Oh, that's not good. I told you to watch the cart, and what did you do? You stole from it. So the master killed the dog. <laughs> I didn't think that was funny, but... Okay, let's keep moving, shall we? I guess this has a dark sense of humor. There's an old newspaper clipping inside. Let's have a look. Residence burns down XX. His wife XX they were found dead in wreckage. Stab wounds on bodies led inspectors to believe that they were murdered for the arson, before the arson, excuse me. Additionally, XX's daughter, Ellen, currently seven, has been missing since the fire. Wonder if Ellen was that girl we saw earlier. Hey, speak of the devil, there she is. Okay. That might be her name. Uh, it could be a different name, but you never know. Ooh, I see a child right there. An open children's encyclopedia full of animals. Let's see. Something invisible there. Well, let's go ahead and talk to him. Sorting these books isn't going well. Need something to tie them together. Would you like some rope? I have some. Ah, is that for me? Yeah, sure, take it. Thank you. Take this. Oh, what a lovely book. Thank you. Book of Death. Yeah, that can't go wrong. All right. Piled stack of art collections and encyclopedias. Ooh, that sounds nice. Cool. Just hearing the squishy sound in the headphones is like, Gugh. The wall covered in something red and sticky. Ooh, that's just wonderful. Okay. I'm assuming that's strawberry jam, right? Actually, I did see a letter in here. <clears throat> I don't mind if you go out and play, but we don't go too deep into the forest. Hope to see you soon, Dad. Well, gee, thanks, Dad. Okay. Ugh. Not cool, bro. <laughs> You're supposed to stay still, man. In horror games, usually mannequins move around anyway, so I shouldn't be surprised, but I am. Okay, uh, how much time do we got left? Oh, we got like a few more minutes. I will do one more thing. Alright, let's have a look in here. Insect models are lined up inside the glass case. There's a blue wing butterfly model in the case. Shall we take it? I'm gonna look around real quick. What? I'm very scared. Painting of a lady with her parasol by the river. A bookshelf. Book is missing. I wonder if it's the book of death. I mean, that's the only book that we got, right? Let's see. So I can take the butterfly. Let me try taking it. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Because there was that other butterfly, but I'm scared that if I take that one, it might go awry. So... Let's see, covered cobwebs. I guess I have to take it? But I can't take it. Unless, if I put the Book of Death there, it might unlock it. Hmm. 
Let's try that. But I actually am curious to see what the Book of Death does. But before I do that, I am going to save the game. Because you, you never know. Usually if something's labeled Book of Death, that just means death. Alright, let's see here. Let's fill our curiosity, shall we? Let's read it. Sure, why not? Oh. Oh my. Oh. Poor little girl. <laughs> she bled her eyes to death. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, so it looks like I am all out of time for this episode, but thanks again guys for watching. The next episode will come soon. This is Rebs, and I will see you next time.